Hello again, thank you for tuning in to Automotive Territory. The very first commercially successful electric car was a Roadster. Was there a particular reason for that? Probably yes, because who doesn't love convertibles? But some way, ever since we have not been seeing many new electrified car models with drop-top roofs being introduced to the market. In fact, we barely managed to gather this list of 12 Roadsters and convertible electric autos that exist today, so we rushed to share our findings with you. Check out this top list and make sure to voice your demands for more electric cabrios in the comment section. Hopefully the manufacturers will comply. And one last thing before we get to the video. Subscribe for more content about electric cars and vehicles. Enjoy the ride! Tesla Roadster When the original Tesla Roadster was released, it managed to break the long-lasting stigma that electric cars cannot be fast, have acceptable range and look appealing. The car was based on the chassis and body of the Lotus Elise and had very compelling performance characteristics like 288 horsepower, 295 pound-feet of torque, 3.7 seconds to 60 and 250 miles range. The production lasted for four years, with about 2,450 units produced. In 2017, the all-new Tesla Roadster was revealed and it is tasked to build up on the success of its predecessor and prove that AVs are worthy of hypercar titles. It will get a three-motor electric powertrain with all-wheel drive capability that connects to a 200 kWh battery. The expected range is 620 miles or 1,000 km at highway speed. The promised 0 to 60 acceleration time should break 2 seconds mark with 1.9 seconds on the stopwatch, and moreover, the 250 mph top speed also reserves the seat for this automobile on the Pantheon of top speed. Electric Ferrari 308 GTE Electric GT is a California-based startup that specializes in restoration and custom conversion of vintage automobiles. Though by now they have multiple finished projects in their portfolio, their journey was started with the electrification of 1978 Ferrari 308 GTS. The totally burned and ruined shell was turned into a crispy-looking EV with modern technology under the hood. The installed power unit is a 330 horsepower, 350 pound-feet of torque electric motor coupled with a Porsche G55 speed transmission. The installed 46 kWh battery ensures 130 miles of range. Notably, this restoration is actually faster than the original model, reaching 180 mph top speed and getting to 60 mph in just 5 seconds. According to the Ferrari executives, we should be expecting the first factory-made fully electric model from the company all the way in 2020. So if you can't wait that long, get in touch with Electric GTE for all of your Ferrari electrification needs. BMW i8 Roadster the updated 2019 model year i8 Roadster is bringing innovations in every aspect, improved battery technology with higher electric motor output, extremely lightweight and aerodynamic body, LED lighting and layer design. The powertrain output now equals to 145 horses from the electric motor and 374 horsepower combined with the gasoline engine. The all-electric range reaches 30 miles and overall MPG is claimed to be around 130 miles per gallon which sounds somewhat unrealistic, but the manufacturer assures us that they have tuned the powertrain for the minimum use of the engine. Unlike the coupe model, the Roadster is a two-seater, since the back seats were traded for more luggage room. This car can accelerate to 16 mph in 4.4 seconds and drive at the speed of 155 miles per hour. Overall, a pretty interesting car model for BMW fans who have $165,000 to spare. Tamikaira ZZ Two Japanese companies that stand behind the electrified Tamikaira ZZ are Kyoto-based startup Green Lord Motors and Kyocera Corporation. This automobile is a direct descendant of an original Tamikaira ZZ, which was a sports car produced in the UK and then re-imported to Japan back in 1990s. Its design is characterized by the low center of gravity and extreme lightness due to the use of new aluminum structure. The car only weighs 1,900 pounds. CZV's electric motor has an output of 305 horsepower and 306 pound-feet of torque. The setup results in rather sporty performance, so be ready for some g-forces as 0 to 6 acceleration time is just 3.9 seconds. CZV is 100% hand-built and therefore is not the cheapest or most numerous car out there. 
Order Inquiry is currently available on the manufacturer's website, so if you've got extra 80 grand lying around, get in touch with GLM and find out whether they will build a Tamikaira for you. Smart for 2 Cabrio We all expected Generation EQ crossover to be the first all-electric model from Mercedes to go into production under the EQ line. However, Smart for 2, for 2 Cabrio and for 4 beta to the punch. The base model of the Cabrio is a two-seater EV with 80 horsepower and 118 pound-feet of torque drawn motor, perfect for city driving. The maximum range that is ensured by a 17.2 kWh battery is 99 miles. All new smart models now include cruise control, power windows, power steering, and Bluetooth smartphone connectivity. Even though Daimler lost two-thirds of dealerships in North America after going all-electric with smarts last year, they are still pushing for electrification of the brand. It's a respectable effort, but if the cars don't sell, it will be for nothing. So hopefully the situation changes. Genovation GXE It is a great underestimation to call this car a conversion project, but in essence the Genovation is building up their electric car on the basis of Chevrolet C7 Corvette Grand Sport. And since these cars come with convertible body styles, a GXE can also be offered with a removable roof. Just like its IC counterpart, the electrified Genovation shows beastly performance in terms of speed that reaches 220 miles per hour. Such velocity could be achieved by the use of GXE's unique electric powertrain 800 horses strong that produces 700 pound-feet of torque. The designers managed to place a 60 kWh battery inside without compromising on handling and reaching nearly perfect 50-50 weight distribution. Moreover, it is one of the few electric cars to actually have a manual transmission, which is a 7-speed. Only 75 units of Genovation GXC will be produced, and the starting price will be staggering $750,000 apiece, plus the price of a donor car. Porsche 918 Spider First introduced at the 2010 Geneva Motor Show, the 918 Spider went from concept to production in mere three years. The final hybrid supercar was truly remarkable. It had a narrow monocoque body, bold styling, and most importantly, agility and speed of an exemplary racer. Its main engine was a 4.6-liter V8 that delivered 608 horsepower. It was aided by two electric motors, one on the front and another one at the rear axle, that brought the total system output to 887 horses. Spider also did not lack acceleration. With 944 pound-feet of torque, it reached 16 pH in 2.6 seconds. The car even had 12 miles of all-electric range and when using all engines could develop a speed of 215 mph. Symbolically, only 918 vehicles were scheduled to be produced, and while the customers wanted more, Porsche chose to adhere to its original plan after the third wave of recalls was issued in 2015. Are you still with us? Great! You must be an EV fan! So how about watching a couple of more episodes about electric cars after this one? We will post a link in the description, info cards and end screens. Let's keep rolling! Citroën e Meari Originally produced between 1968 and 1988, Meari became a hit due to its versatility, with more than 144,000 vehicles sold worldwide. In 2016, the company released a new, modern all-electric version of the legendary vehicle in cooperation with a French holding, the Ballor Group. This four-seater is a lightweight convertible with plastic bodywork and a removable roof made with waterproof fabric. It has fun design with four exterior colors, two roof colors and two interior options. The automobile relies on a 67-horsepower electric motor that drains power from a 30 kWh lithium metal polymer battery. Its promised range is around 125 miles in the city and its top speed is set at 70 mph. The vehicle can be charged using a standard wall socket in 13 hours, but with a 16 amp socket, the charge time is reduced to 8 hours. Vision Mercedes Maybach 6 Convertible When working on this ultra-luxury automobile, Mercedes Maybach designer division was faced with a difficult task. They had to come up with a new concept that would be as striking as the Vision 6 Coupe. To the delight of car fans, their choice fell on a convertible design, and this 18.7-foot four-wheeler turned out just stunning. Like the previous model, it is equipped with a mighty 750-horsepower electric motor quartet. 
The concept is able to hit 60 miles per hour mark in under 4 seconds, and the speed is electronically limited to 155 miles per hour. The promised range is around 200 miles, but there is a fast 5-minute charging option to add 60 miles of range. The interior is finished with beautiful white leather, floors are made of wood with aluminum inlays, and the cabin is equipped with the latest tech and heads-up displays. Zelectric's Porsche 911 Targa Zelectric is a San Diego, California-based company that electrify mid-century vintage Volkswagen and early Porsche classics for the 21st century. With all their builds, the company is trying to avoid making any modifications to the cars they're remodeling. So this beautiful 1973 Porsche 911 Targa remains as vintage as they come. The battery was placed in the trunk, and it is a 54 kilowatt hour pack with Tesla modules that gets to range to 150 miles if you drive it like a Porsche, but in heavy traffic the real-life range gets close to 180 miles that is boosted by regenerative braking. The original power of this car was retained, and it is around 180 horses. Acceleration is rather moderate and not what you might have expected from an electric car, but it still remains a decent 7 seconds 0 to 60 mph and the top speed is 150 miles per hour. Jaguar E-Type 0 We often hear from car fans that the golden age of automobiles has ended after the 1960s, and since the car designers kept copying each other and lost the true spirit of automaking. It could be one of the reasons why Jaguar came up with a reminiscently designed E-Type 0, probably attempting to hook old-timers and make them want to own an electric classic. This Jaguar is a reconfigured E-Type Series 1.5 sports roadster of the 1968 model year that got equipped with a specially engineered 300 horsepower or 220 kilowatt motor to fit the space previously occupied by the engine and gearbox. The used power pack has 40 kilowatt hour capacity, good for 170 miles of range, and 0 to 6 acceleration is known to be 5.5 seconds. This technique of reconfiguring IC cars into electric ones will be tested with E-Type 0, and if proven viable, will be used for other historical models. Bentley EXP12 Speed 6E The executives at Bentley, after all, have decided to convert the EXP12 Speed 6E concept into a production model, and as it has been previously rumored, it will be released in 2019. As per the manufacturer, we can expect outstanding range from the CV, sufficient enough for grand touring from London to Paris or Milan to Monaco on a single charge, plus it will support fast inductive charging. Among the most prominent characteristics, we should also mention an outstanding onboard concierge services provided by the state-of-the-art software, handcrafted elements and the highest quality materials that you would expect from Bentley. The entire central tunnel, for example, is made from a solid piece of glass, encompassing a high-definition OLED curved display. Plus, the developers chose to abandon regular rear-view mirrors and substituted them with cameras, with the image projected to the corners of the windshield. You must have noticed that there are mostly concepts and prototypes in this video. Believe us, we looked hard, and some way there aren't any other electrified convertibles out there. If you know about one, share with us in the comments. Become our subscriber for frequent automotive content, watch other suggested videos on the screen, and as always, may the torque be with you!